I know it's been a while. Um, I've been sick and whenever I get sick, it always takes me a really long time to get over it. I just have um, a poor immune system and I've always been that way since I was a little girl. So um, if the plague ever comes through, y'all, I'm gonna be the first one to be out. <laughs> Okay, just, just letting you know. Um, so, but today, really quick, I want to share with you um, a really, really cool story. Um, a lot of you might ask, Beth, why do you always end your videos in the name of Jesus Christ? Why, why do you do that? Um, and I'm going to tell you why. So, many, many years ago, when I was 17, um, you know, I was just a brand new baby and my faith in Jesus and I met some missionaries and they started teaching me and um, I really enjoyed our visits and our talks and things and but um, I was kind of scared to commit to anything but um, and, and they would bear testimony a lot and um, I would feel the spirit and I knew the things that they were saying were true um, when we would read scriptures and things like that but there's this one testimony that one missionary gave that I'll never forget and it has really changed my life um, as this missionary was teaching me and they had been teaching me for a while um, at one point towards the end of, of one of these discussions this young man he was in his 20s um, looked at me and he said, Beth, I know these things are true. I know they are. And I can promise you that in the name of Jesus Christ. And I was so blown away. What a, what a bold statement to be able to say that you know the scriptures are true or that you know that the gospel is true or that you know that Christ lives. Like who, how do you gain a testimony like that? I'll just never forget that. And I always thought if I am ever blessed enough to gain a testimony like that, then I will never be ashamed of it. I will always speak of it and I will tell people because um, I just think it's the most important thing that you can have. And I really didn't understand that, understand that at the time, but as I grew in my relationship with the Savior, I realized how important that is. Um, and so, to end this, I want to share a scripture with you. I love this scripture. I love it so much. Um, this is in the Bible in Romans chapter 1, and it is verse 16. And it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believeth. What a powerful and true statement! That's what Christ does. He gives us salvation. And we have the power of God when we're not ashamed. So if you have a testimony of Christ, do not be ashamed of it. Do not bury it. Be brave and be bold. Um, you know, whenever you're given the opportunity to share it, sometimes make the opportunity. That's what I do. I create my own opportunities because I love talking about the Lord. But, um, you know, as you do this, your testimony will continue to increase. You know, sometimes our testimonies kind of go like this. You know, sometimes we're going through hard things and, um, you know, or we're sick or, or, or sometimes we just get busy, right? Um, and Satan will use tactics to distract us. But don't let that keep you from sharing your testimony. Even if you're sharing it just with your children or at home with your husband or your wife or, you know, maybe a friend over the phone. Always take opportunities to share what you know and what you believe so that your testimony can increase and it can be such a strength um, when you're going through those hard times. Um, I want you to know that I know that our Savior lives and that he died for us. And I feel very blessed and grateful to have a testimony like I do. And I have felt him around me during all of my trials and during my triumphs even. And I love him. I love him so much and I am so grateful for him and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.